Hey guys, I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video, but uh, recently I came across a Windows Xbox error and I uh, was trying to figure out how to solve it and I finally uh, figured it out. It's actually pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm guessing this will work for pretty much any other error that you get with the uh, any Windows apps on Windows 10. So the first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is open up uh, PowerShell. Uh, you can just do that by searching it and you wanna start it as administrator because it'll be changing things for all the accounts on your computer. Uh, and then in the description, I'm gonna have a couple things you'll copy and paste in there. The first one will remove the uh, Windows Store and then the second one will remove the Xbox app. Um, so once you've done that, you'll wanna restart your computer and then uh, go from there. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so uh, once you've restarted your computer, you can uh, go ahead and check for yourself. Uh, but basically the Xbox app will be gone and the Windows Store will be gone. So what you're gonna wanna do from there is uh, start up uh, the PowerShell again and you will run that as an administrator again because again it's going to be changing stuff for all the accounts on the computer and if you try to do that without running it as administrator it won't work so uh, I will have the uh, what you're supposed to put in there uh, in the description below so you can just copy and paste it in um, and then I'll just run for a few minutes basically adding everything back in and I'll throw some red stuff at you that looks really bad. It's not, it's just um, basically files that are already on the computer that it's trying to add but it can't. Uh, and a few other things but again it doesn't matter. So anyways I'll go ahead and fast forward this part. Okay, so now it's coming up to the end here. Basically, once that little window thing doing all the processes closes, it's all done, and you'll just see a bunch of red text of the stuff that didn't work, which is fine. So exit out of that. You can go ahead and open up the Xbox app again. Uh, mine takes a few minutes to start up for the first time. Uh, yours might too, but it'll work. And again, uh, probably in the description and in the title, uh, the error I was getting was uh, 0x406. And as you can see, it started up just fine. I'm guessing this will work for a lot of, uh, a few. I don't know how many other errors there are, but I'm assuming it'll probably work for them as well. Uh, you can go ahead and see the Windows Store is back as well if you want. And it might take a couple seconds to start up again the first time. But uh, it'll probably start, yeah, starts up right away. And then, uh, so yeah, basically everything should be working fine now. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe if you'd like. And uh, if you didn't find it helpful, uh, let me know why and I'll try and do better in the future because that's how I do. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.